Karen Valencic here. To be calm or not to be calm, that is the question we have here. I just listened to a podcast by someone I really admire, Patrick Lachoni. He wrote the um, book, The Five Dysfunctions of a Team, which many people are familiar with. Well, Patrick's podcast was called Stop Being Calm. And, and where he's coming from on that is that on a team, if you've got one person that's holding the emotional baggage of the group and feeling frustrated, that they should just let out their raw emotions so that the team can share in those emotions. And I just respectfully disagree with him. Um, a, a, a few things. One is, well, one, calm does not mean passive. Calm is not asleep. You know, great race car drivers, skiers, um, high-performing speakers, they're calm, but they're not passive. So you don't have to be, um, to, to get your point across and to perform, you, don't, you can be calm. That's the point. The second thing I'm thinking of is what I know with personality differences. If someone's a dominant personality, they may feel like that's fine um, and that they can just put that all out there and that it's going to be fine. And I will tell you, I have witnessed this. I have been hired, I've been hired many times because of the destruction that behavior does. So I just really disagree with it. You know, the other thing is I think it depends on who you are. And, and that, you know, Patrick is a, a, a authoritative figure and he's the boss and he's white. If you take a, a woman that's not in charge or a black person or a other person, if they come out with their raw emotion, I'm not sure how that's gonna land. So anyway, I'm gonna say keep calm and carry on, but remember, calm is not passive. I would love to know what you think. Thanks for listening in, and just remember, until next time, go out there and get it done with power and grace. See you soon, bye-bye.